Paloma Odi joins us now. She's an anti-corruption crusader. Thank you for coming on this morning. Thank you for inviting me. Well, uh, the National Assembly continues uh, their probe into this matter today, and uh, the Director of Finance, who just left here, will be going to that committee, he says, as soon as he leaves here. But you heard his comments I did. Uh, today uh, about all of this. What did you make of it? Um, I don't see the, as it, what they have been saying. It's, the only new thing is that today he said he, they expected the ministry to have concluded all the procurement processes before before coming the approval coming back to them. That's just the only new thing I've seen today. The only other new thing I saw today is that he has not seen the car, but he can confirm the cars are there because according to him, the House of Representative Committee went for inspection yesterday. Um, and also it is interesting coming from him that you paid for something you didn't see and you are not even aware of but because you saw the approval. And so there's a procurement department uh, uh, supposed to handle that. That's supposed to handle that. But you, as a director of finance, it's not an accountant in the in the uh, in NACA. It's a director of finance. You've not seen it, but and also who's supposed to be versatile in this procurement process? He says it's not an expert and it's not his bit, and um, which is very unfortunate. And he's also defending what you cannot defend. Your board, the budget, they have actually gone far of the Appropriation Act, year 2013. Approved purchase of 25 vehicles, according to figures coming from the House of Rep Committee. And you jacked it up to 54 vehicles. And you didn't see anything wrong with that. And you are buying the approved the amount, 240 million. And you jacked it up to 643 million. And there is nothing wrong with it. In fact, at the end of and you are going to pay 500 million interest for three years, which means you will shut down everything to pay for a bullet um, proof, uh, uh, bullet proof cars too. Then not only that, he is also supporting the fact that if you hear the House of Rep, when they call them, they say you during defense of budget they brought to buy this car. And they throw it out, and still they went back in the ministry and decided that the National Assembly, representative of people who looked into the budget and approved it, and have no business with what they do, and they went ahead and did their own thing. No, that's not what it said. They, they, they no, said, that's what I am reading from what they did. Well, well, he just said, well, perhaps maybe it's the House of Representatives that didn't get it clearly that they also included those vehicles, but they didn't mention it. You heard him. No, so, but when so. you didn't mention it, you brought it as a bulletproof cast, and it was thrown out. And you now say you mentioned it under security cars. What is the meaning? Because in the one they threw out, security was there, and you went back to the ministry. Can we actually defend why approval of 240 million was given? And you went ahead and approved 25 cars, you jacked it up to 54 vehicles. It is clear case of corruption. There is no better way to explain it. You jacked it up to 54, you jacked the money up to 500, uh, 643 million, and you are going to pay within 36 months, three years, you are going to pay 500 million as interest, and you are justifying it. That is good. Leaping off on the citizen of Nigeria. That is good that because it will make you uh, to, to retire your books, so for, for your books to be in order, for you to have money to do other things, and for you to use the three years budget to service 643 million uh, these you got from yeah. First Bank. But there are all shades of opinion on this matter. I mean, look at this one just coming through from uh, Gabriel Lopuna who says, National Assembly drives around in bulletproof cars. NCAA has not done anything out of the ordinary. Okay. Um, if a National Assembly person has money to buy a, a bulletproof car, which I'm sure, because the experts say that this car purchased, these two cars purchased by, for 255.15 million, that can, can go for te, uh, 60 million, two of them. So if they have 60 million to buy two cars and ride on, the person actually talking, what we are discussing here, is the inherent corruption in what they have purchased and the abuse of processes and abuse of law, our own law. The National Assembly passed an act.
which you have abused. So the Nigerian talking, I've been hearing people say, uh, don't mind them. They, everybody go to Abuja, they bring proof cards if everywhere. I have no problem with somebody who bought her homage with his money. And the, the director of finance is saying that from the documents with the House of Rep Committee that is saying 70 million, we are making two of them 140 million. That maybe why it is jacked up is because maintenance uh, uh, guarantee, such cars you are buying for 70 million should have at least three years guarantee. One. And secondly, and maintenance also for the next three years for those cars, if they had bought it at 70 million, we have three years guarantee. So why is he now say though they whenever they finish talking, including the DG, they say we are not owing, owing brief, oh, but this is what we see to show that there is actually no commitment. They are just doing it because they are asked to do it. This is clear case of corruption. There is no other way to, to defend it. It cannot de be defended. And I was actually sympathizing with the man. I, if this is why there is so much corruption in Nigeria, and this is why hospitals cannot work. Has it, has it actually been established? Do you, you think this is corruption? Because if we're talking about uh, when we had Joyce Kimakulam here, also from the NCA, we asked him if there was any threat to the life of the minister. And uh, from his answer, it looks uh, towards that, uh, well, safety was key and paramount uh, in that particular sector. Uh, if truly the, there was any threat to lives of uh, some of the key officers uh, in the aviation ministry, don't you think that they were in order to have ordered the bulletproof cars now away from the pricing? We're talking about bulletproof cars. Okay. First of all, if there is threat to the life of the minister or the officials of the NACA or aviation ministry, they would have actually defended it before the... National Assembly, that this is the case. And we Nigerians, especially you people, would have known that there is a threat to this, um, the life of the minister and other stakeholders because of the good work they are doing. Then people would have defended it and said, ah, allow these people to buy the bulletproof cars for their safety. But the, we didn't hear the threat to their lives. The other stories we've been hearing is that the dignitaries come in, foreign dignitaries, we use these cars to carry them. Okay, assuming there is need to for these cars to be purchased. During the defense, they would have presented it so beautiful and the approval would have been gotten. Now there is no approval. And all the processes, procurement processes, they bridged all of them to show that there is something more than what we are seeing. And all the people from the aviation ministry and NACA, both the GG, Fala, Akinkut, they have not been able to give satisfactory defense. The more they defend this, the more you see more bridges to actually say this thing is corruption. And I can tell you, now he said over 300% jack. He said that, okay, it was correct. That is the DG finance and accounts. That there was a time it was 17 million. He confirmed it this morning, listening to him. And maybe the jack, maybe it was due to maintenance and guarantee and all that. And as a director of finance, he didn't know before he, he paid the, he agreed to put his own signature on the new increase, the new amount. He didn't know whether it was because of tenants, because of guarantee, or because of some other interest, and he went ahead. I actually think that all these people, both DG, both Director of Finance, all of them should resign. For, for sanity, this, somebody said it has been happening in other ministries. Let's agree that it has been happening. So we can use this as a test case by the president, and so you, all of you have just failed. I am using you people as a test case to show my commitment in fighting corruption. There must be sanity in the ministries. I need the ministries get it right. Every other sector will be getting it right. Okay.